Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to talking about how do we combine GitHub and Google Collab together. We're talking about the workflow. So uh, I have searched this problem online, but most other people, they say, okay, we j after we finish editing the Google Collab, we just need to um, save a copy in the GitHub. But what's the, the, the problem with this is, first of all, you can only save a copy to a public uh, repository. So what if you, you want to save this um, says on changes into a private uh, repository. This is uh, number one big problem. Number two is, uh, so how do we do, for example, git pull, uh, git commit, and git push? So all this kind of stuff, uh, we cannot be done just by the clicking one, uh, one of these buttons. So there must be something else we can do. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how do we achieve that. So first of all, I assume you already have the knowledge about what git git is and what uh, git push, git commit, git pull is, and also what are uh, what what is git collab, and 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 then I assume you also have a Google Drive account. So what uh, the first step what we do is uh, we will create two uh, notebook file. Uh, the first one. Uh, we're gonna, gonna put the git command inside and the second one uh, it's the real work you're gonna do uh, but for me like I have like two different file I need to work with so I have like two files maybe for you you can have one or two or three uh, as many as you want but what I'm saying is first of all you you must have a, a Google Club notebook uh, only for um, the git command okay so how do we write this? Uh, so uh, for example, if we already create a git command a notebook and when we open it, mm, okay, this is something I already uh, uh, wrote like previously. So we're just gonna go through each line and to see w uh, what's going on here. So first of all, we, we're gonna, of course, we're gonna mount uh, our Google Drive and then we're gonna uh, directory into our um, like like here into this directory where you put um, your work like both of your git and your your work we're gonna direct into that directory um, and before you do anything it's always a good habit to check uh, where are you right now like the current directory uh, you can use this command to check like where are you right now because sometimes when we um, direct into some other folders, we might uh, uh, using the wrong command to either the git init or get the git commit. So this is very important to know like, where are you right now? So oh, that's why I put it here. And uh, if we finish this and uh, we're at the right directory. So our directory is supposed to be, for example, I, I create two files here. Like, um, so we, we're supposed to direct into like, for, for my example, it should be, uh, my disk academic data visualization, git, uh, git collab. So it, it ends here. So when we're doing the git init, we're initializing this whole folders for everything. So you can see I already done this. So that's why I have a git, a dot git file here. So this dot git file uh, will influence this uh, file where in, uh, where inside there's git command and other of your work. After the git init, it's uh, it, this two command, it just uh, let you add the, uh, the git uh, repository information. So um, for example, you're gonna create uh, a new repository, uh, name whatever the way you want, and we can put it into private and then after we create it um, like I'm just gonna create it here after I create it um, we're gonna need uh, this information this pri uh, this repository uh, name we're just gonna need this and then we're gonna put it here and then here it's uh, oh remember you need to delete everything here including the big parentheses like your name your GitHub name, for example, mine, it's uh, the name is showing here, like here. So for example, mine is, uh, get, uh, is Ernie likes Apple, like that. And then the GitHub password, 
like for example my password is this and then here your name again and then th these two lines just let you add the remote information and then this is uh, let you config um, and uh, the, the the local information uh, where w later on when you're gonna commit uh, that's the information gonna uh, list on the history so here like it's just your personal email blah 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 and this uh, it's whatever the name you want to name yourself and um, and here after these two lines so here for example uh, in, in my work file I did something and then I finished uh, the changes I'm just gonna add everything under under this this directory everything under this directory and then I'm gonna commit it and this is my commit message and then I'm gonna push it